Hey guys, Will here with Crazy Studio. And in this video, we're gonna go over one of our mobile app promotion scenes, how to edit it, where to find it, and how you can make it your own. Let's go ahead and get started. Boost teamwork with our app. Collaborate seamlessly on projects, share documents effortlessly, and elevate your team's productivity together. All right, so I'm inside of a new session in Create Studio, and I'm gonna go over here and navigate on my side panel over here and go to my scenes, and then I'm gonna to go to my mobile app promotion section. And in here, I can scroll down and I'm gonna find my enhanced collaboration scene. And if you haven't downloaded that, there's a little download icon there in the bottom right of your scenes. Download those assets, and then you can drag that into your canvas or your timeline. All right, now one thing to note is that this specific scene is available to all users. So this is where you will find it. And now we can talk about how you can edit this and really make it your own. All right, so now if I go into my scenes here, in the top right corner, you'll see under settings, you have the options to adjust the headlines, replace some of the video clips, the text, and the colors of the background shapes and circles, right? So really cool features inside of Create Studio 3. All right, so let's say, for example, I wanna change the name of Enhanced Collaboration, right? So I come here to headline one and two, and let's go ahead and just delete that. And let's go ahead and call it Let's say it's Wills, and then instead of collaboration, maybe we just call it collab, right? And then I wanna change the videos here. So if I scroll out here on my uh, timeline, you see I've got these two video clips. So what I can do is I can come in here and hit replace, and I've already got some video clips downloaded, but you can use our stock libraries to down some, download some video clips and some pictures. Um, or if you have your own footage, you can then import that in and use those as well. So let's go ahead and replace that guy with this girl here and let's change her name. Um, let's call her Amy. And then let's go ahead and swap out this guy's video here with this guy. And then we will call him, let's call him Tommy. All right. And again, if I click on text one for her name, I can then change the color of her text there. So I can go black. And then for him, um, I can leave him white because he stands out. But then again, from there, you can change the backgrounds, the shapes, the colors of the circles all that good stuff to customize it and make it even more of your own. All right, so now let's talk about the character. So you can also customize your character and make him very unique to your situation, right? So let's go ahead and go inside this scene here and let's double click on this group inside of this scene. And then I'm gonna go to our working on PC animation here, right? So this is our Tom character, right? Now what I can do is I can go to my customize under settings here and uh, let me spin him around so we can see um, what he's wearing there. So, so far he's wearing a black shirt with some gray pants and some shoes, right? So let's go in here and let's change his top. So let's go ahead and give him a hoodie. And then of course we can change his pants. So maybe we want him to wear some shorts. Uh, that doesn't look right. So let's go ahead and give him some pants there. And then we can also adjust it so we can give him a hat. So let's give him a, let's give him a cowboy hat right now, right? So you can get real creative, really funky. Um, we can change his shoes. So let's give him some of these cool kicks right here. And then of course, there's so many things you can do, right? We give accessories, you can change his eyebrows, you could do color his hair, all that good stuff. So if I come down here to the color palette, here's where I can change the colors on the skin, his hair, his eyes, uh, maybe his main top there. Maybe we want it to be a little darker there so we can go like that. Same thing with his pants. Maybe we want them to be a little lighter so we can bring them back a little bit there. And then his shoes, you know, we've got them as blue, but maybe we want to go classic black. So we'll just do that. All right, so again, that is all down here in the color section of our customized settings for our character, right? So you can completely go in here and do a lot of customization and really tweak these characters to make them your own, right? So that is all here. Um, and that's once you click on your animation, you can go to customize and then all of these actions will be here for you. All right, so one other cool feature inside this animation is that you can replace the image on the screen. So if I come over here under my settings and under customize again, I can come over here to my images for logo. And then you'll see I have different options for images to replace, right? So whether I have a logo, PC screen, laptop screen, um, whatever that animation may have, um, you choose the right one that's appropriate for it, right? So right now we've got a PC screen, so I'm gonna click on PC. And I've already got a replacement image imported, but if you didn't, you could go ahead and import from your desktop um, for wherever you have that, that image at, and then bring it into Create Studio 3. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my replacement image here. And then bam, just like that, you'll see that it replaced my image. And if I go back out to the main screen here and let's go ahead and see, you can twirl them around here. It is awesome. So it stays with them the whole time. And again, that's an easy way to customize this. Maybe you want your company uh, website on there. You want your logo uh, to bring attention to the audience. This is a great way to incorporate that really subtly into your, um, your, your productions here, which is really awesome. All right, so now let's talk about what if you don't want 
this, uh, what if you don't want Tom's character in here, right? What if you've got, you want, you need a female character? Well, let me show you how to do that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to my 3D creator and I'm gonna drag in my Lenka character right into my canvas there. Now it's gonna put your character on the timeline wherever your cursor is at. So it's there at the beginning, so it's populated it right there, but I wanna kind of line it up right above my working on PC Tom animation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click right here on the side of that animation and I'm gonna say add track above. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag Lenka down to this track right here, line it up, and I'm just gonna extend her out to the length of the animation that Tom is, right? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on Lenka's idle right here, and it's gonna open up inside of her actions, her idle animation as is, but I'm gonna change that idle to be a working on PC um, animation there, right? So now you can see she's there. It's kind of covered up by all this stuff, which is fine. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and scale her up. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, add some keyframe animations here, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and right click and I'm gonna add animation and then I'm gonna add a position and her character view, all right? So now if I click off that, you see I've got my two keyframes added to our Lenka animations here. Now I'm gonna move these over just to line up with the start of Tom's right there below. And I'm gonna go ahead and extend this one out so it matches with the same distance as Tom's, right? All right, so for this first one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna scale her up a little bit to, to be on the same scale level as Tom. So I'm gonna use them as a guide. So I'm gonna go to my properties, and then I'm gonna to go to my scale and I'm just gonna scale her up a little bit. I'm just gonna size her up by eye and I think that's pretty good right there. All right, now what I can do is I'm gonna click on um, rotate and now I'm gonna turn her around so she's facing this way. And then when she is facing this way, I can kind of see that she's already a little bit too big, right? So just based off of this perspective. So I'm gonna click back on rotate to turn that off and then I'm gonna go back to my scale and I'm gonna scale her down and I can use the desk kind of as a guide to frame me up. And of course I can always move her around as I need to, but let's just keep her about right there. All right, so, so far so good, right? So that's my starting keyframe. Now for my second keyframe, I'm gonna go ahead and select it. And you see what Tom does is he rotates around, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my second keyframe and I'm gonna click rotate and I'm just gonna turn Lenka around to kind of be in line the same direction as Tom. So right there, so that's my ending point, right? So, so far so good. And now if I come back here, you'll see that it plays and then she rotates around. So we've got that scenario already set up. Now we need to set up the second half, which is where it kind of does this little scale in and then it zooms in and it ends the whole thing, right? So let's go ahead and start that now. All right, so I've already got my cursor lined up with the start of my new fresh set of keyframes, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and right click on my um, Lenka animation here and I'm gonna say add animation and I'm gonna add a position, scale and character view keyframe, right? So now when I come here, it's going to, I'm gonna move this over so it starts right at the same one as Tom's does and I'm gonna extend this out just like it does for Tom there. All right, so for this one, it's gonna stay at the starting point, right? We're, already, we're only worried about where we want these, these keyframes to go. So I'm gonna set that one, leave them the same and click on this end keyframe here. And here's where I wanna open up my properties and I'm gonna go ahead and scale her up a little bit here to, uh, let's get her about right. Here's pretty good. And then let's go ahead and bring her down a little bit actually. So she's sitting about right here. All right, and so now what will happen is she zooms in or it zooms in on her there just like it does with, with Tom's character. And then what we can also do is we can kind of give it a little bit of a character view. So let's go ahead and click on our second keyframe there. Let's click on rotate. And let's just give it like a little bit of a of a turn there. So now it does this nice little little dip forward, if you will, right? Just to kind of give it a little bit more uh, more depth, right? All right. So so far so good. So now what I can do is I can basically delete uh, Tom's key uh, animation out of there, right? So now all I've got is Linka, right? So if I play her back, goes in, and then it zooms in to finish it out. So looking pretty good. And again, what I'll need to do is I'll need to replace my screen there for my placeholder. So that's an easy fix. So I can click on link as working on PC animation. Um, go to customize and go to our uh, logo section here, go to PC screen, and then I can replace it back with my um, my little screen there, which which could be your company name or, um, or your product, whatever it is you're working on, right? All right, so that is a good overview of our mobile app promotion scenes inside Create Studio 3. Again, this scene is available for everyone. Hopefully you got some really cool quick tips out of this. Can't wait to see what y'all create. And I'll catch y'all in the next tutorial.